Hello and welcome to Jacob's Horizon yet again. Am I successful? How can I become successful? These are questions that we toy with often in our minds. Few tricks, few tips, a bestseller, couple of articles, few videos, at success the way we want seem to elude us. Why is it so? Because success doesn't come from external sources, it comes from within. To understand the concept of success, let me take you to the construction of an atom. Till 1897, when J.J. Thompson discovered electrons, everybody thought that the atom was the smallest particle. But discovery of subatomic particles changed all that. Many postulations and hypotheses later, they come to understand that the atom has many electrons arranged around it. Depending upon the energy levels the electrons have, and they are arranged in four orbitals called the S, P, D and F orbitals. Surprisingly, this very orbital theory can be used as an analogy to explain the behavior of successful individuals. To understand and appreciate fully, let me give an example. Imagine a balloon filled with air and you hold it in the middle. The balloon becomes two lobes. Every human attribute comes in the contra lobe. For fear, there is courage. For apprehension, there is aspiration. So if I hold the balloon in the middle, you have fear on top and courage below. If I move my hand towards fear lobe, that becomes smaller and the courage lobe becomes bigger. It means I'm in control of fear, my courage becomes bigger. These are the work horses of a human, uh, human existence. There are countless such lobes that exist in our mind which we can actually control and get the work out of them. These deal with competencies, skills, attitudes and attributes. These actually work from a conscious mind. To fill in air and remove air from where not required, you have to have a distribution system. That is the determination strategy which decides the intensity of pressure or air pulled into each lobe. So to achieve something, you have to have a basic minimum level of determination. It is not only the determination in spurts or the intense commitment in spurts, but you remember that life is a long marathon which requires persistent intense commitment called the persistent strategy or the P orbital. This actually comes from the pre-conscious mind wherein you have taken your past and brought it to the present. But to control all the three, you have to have a supervisor that is your subconscious mind or the S orbital. That is why unless we take hold of our subconscious mind, and train it with self-formation continuously, success may elude us. It is to reassure yourself quite often on a daily basis and to charge your S orbital. Only then can you achieve success. So rather than getting into books, articles and videos, start focusing on the inner self, reassure yourself, find your qualities, Strengthen them, success is not far away.